Hello, it's Cookie. Welcome to the 14th race of the Colgate Cup Series for the Cinnabon 300K at Papyrus Moore Sports Park. Tatiana on pole will be sitting at the front row with Aaron Abel, Aaron Abel in the 19. There he is. Just catching up with the pace car. But anyway, we are back onto some low course racing this month. Cup Series. And this is located. This original track is located at Massachusetts. It's really the state that I live in. But yeah, another uh, Massachusetts track race. Anyway, we uh, went to Coca Cola last week and Kyle Sustry got his first cup win of the season which would be his second NR win on this channel well, yeah two super speedway wins for this try so far good stuff we still have Qualls as the points leader with 1901 points after finishing 11th, almost got a top 10, but it's worth something to keep the uh, points points lead. Fitzwater moved to second with about 1,720 points after finishing second. And then Sustry, the winner at Coca-Cola, has moved to four spots onto third, and he has about 1,695 points. Another FYM driver, Damon Cowwood, fourth with 1,680 points after finishing sixth place. The top 10 finish for the 38. Not for his teammate though, but it wouldn't matter that much. Since Qualls is still vibing on that points lead ever since a few races ago. But yeah, we're gonna get this going as the green flag waves for the Cinnabon 300k at the Pirates. for World Course Racing on his channel as always. We got Maximilian on the lead from the inside lane with Spurly 2 buying him. Now on to this turn. Spurly missed the wall. Still chilling on that top three spot. While dealing with two JGR drivers by them, Aaron and Christopher Abel. 21 starting to catch up to Maxi. Staying in front of the four car until we get to the front stretch. Spurly took fly about going to the inside for a second, but... Okay. I, uh... I guess that works. Don't know, but we have the 21 wall riding. After seeing that free wide. 19 to second. Then 20 is just going side by side with Sproly 2. And 
until he hits the wall. Oh! Christopher's teammate also got that wall, so... Easy, uh, second place for a Spurly Tube. Demon Cowwood Fern. Two of those JGR drivers are still vibing on that top five spot. But they're gonna have to watch those two Penske cars. Plus the 21, since Woodwaters is Lions with Penske. Is that technically it's like three Penske's? Gonna, but yeah. Basically, we have Penske versus Joe Gibbs for the top five. Both of those Toyotas didn't hit the wall this time. Good sign. There goes to 12, edging through the inside. Side by side onto the next turn. Chris is gonna go ahead of the 19 to capture the top five spot. Moves to the inside to pass another JGR driver and his teammate. It's just catching up to the 12. So that will have. Two Penske's taking over top five. Chris Reynolds fourth and Dylan fifth. Cowwood to the uh, Damon Cowwood or DK, wherever I call him. Got to second place from the outside, and yeah, last time we seen the 38 getting close to uh, winning his first race was at the bend. At the last lap he was uh he was really close to uh crossing the line first until the last corners of the bend. And the last corners at that track is mostly uh well those corners that you really I don't want to scrub because it's it's fucking hard. So uh yeah. It technically ruined his uh chances of his first cup win. But for this track at Papyrus this track works more differently than the bend, so One corner, one specific corner of this track is hard. I can't really remember what turns would be, but you guys would know what corner, what corner would that be. But yeah, it's kind of difficult, but as long as you like stay at the inside more than the outside then you'll be fine this is the corner that I'm talking about DK has avoided that 
that wall. And so did Maxi. Seven in front of the three eight. Might have gotten involved into something, but as always, there's going to be clips of drivers that have crashed at this race so far. But yeah, there goes Maxi starting to catch up to DK. He turned on to uh, two turns. <coughs> Excuse me. They survived this corner. Eric Monaco, 5th place. That's won a world course at Little Springs. Might be on a hunt for a 5th one. I mean, 2nd one soon. Do one edging on that inside. But has to stay in front of Spurly Tube. Until we get to the front stretch. It goes to the inside before they cross the line. On to turn one. The one takes over fourth. Okay, going in front of the 47 to lure away the four car. Just to keep his lead for much longer. Forty seven to the wall bit. Monaco fifth place. to lap 9. Maxi might have a where would that wall? Still going in front of the 38 at the outside line. While they have Bob Floyd at the inside. Monaco's at third. He's been passing drivers each lap. Now he's on the hunt against two Fords. Just so that we can possibly see Monaco leading at this track. Soon. Probably before we went to uh, five laps to go. Maxi still has Bob Floyd in front of her. She really needs she really needs to pass the 47 just to not get distracted by that driver over and over. Two Penske's on the top five. 
free wide. Tatiana goes in front of Spurley and Mitchells. Mitchell O'Brien on that top 10 spot. Monaco in front of the four. Oh, 47 just hit the wall. Thankfully, it didn't distract the uh, Maxi. Now that she's in front of the 47. Now she needs time to catch up to DK before the final lap. At six laps left. Now to the next lap. Will be five laps to go for Papyrus. Monaco to the inside. Couldn't get in front of the 47 yet. Whoops. Tatiana to fifth place. Both of them might have uh, hit the wall at the same time. James. Twelfth. Actually, no, he is a uh, eleventh. Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Mitchell. Is he 10th? Okay, he is. Pulse is uh, closer to getting a top 10 spot. Fast to 20, but now he needs to catch up to 15. If he really wants a top 10 finish. But for 15, he is... Uh, he has been catching up to the six pretty well. Twenty two to wall to the wall. There goes uh calls his chance. Monaco's in front of the forty seven. Maxi's in front of the leader, so. Three laps to go. This is just between DK and Maxi. Neither of those two have won a Koke Cup win. So we'll be seeing some first time winners of the season. But for Maxi, she has won some races outside of the NROL, except for DK, because I haven't, I haven't, <coughs> excuse me, I had a stroke there. 
because I haven't seen DK winning anything based off of my projects, so... This Papyrus race could be the first for him. As of now, he is dealing, dealing with the 4 car just to keep his lead until the final lap. As of now, he is in front of the 4 car. Still going to be battling with him, with the 4 car. Two laps to go. Not quite sure if Monaco is going to have plenty of time to catch up to those Fords, but we'll see. Unless if these two uh, did an oopsie on this corner. Yep, there it is. There's the four car as she uh, touched the wall. So, I mean, Monaco might have touched that wall, but. Yeah, I think Monaco still has a chance. He really needs to get... He really needs to be quick. On catching up to those two, because we are... Getting on to the final lap of this race. One lap to go. Again, this is just... Between DK and Maxi. But Eric Monaco might crash into this 1v1 battle for the win. Qualls racing for a seventh. Maxi did that mid. Maxi, that did that. Zip, zip. I can't speak. Holy shit! That was a massive ass stroke. As I was saying, Maxi did the same mistake from the 15th lap. So yeah, that sucks. But that's gonna give Monaco second. Doesn't have that much time to catch up to the 38 now that we are. Getting off the final corner of this track. As Damon Cowwood will get his first NR win at Papyrus. Has struggled at the bend. Well, not really struggled, but... Has disappointment from the bend race has helped out his teammate but he has been racing against one car or another just to get his first cup win at this track at a world course but yeah congrats to Damon Cowwood as the Cinnabon Fiorce K winner, we will be getting into the results. Damon Cowwood, first place, his first NR win on his channel. Eric Monaco, <coughs> Eric Monaco, second. Maxi, third. Mitchell, fourth. Tatiana, fifth. Reese, fifth. Oh, I mixed that up. Um, Mitchell 4th, Tatiana 5th, Reese 6th, James 7th, Sam 8th, Dylan 9th, and Riley Spurley 2 10th. And there's the rest of your results. Nobody is out of this entire race except having one driver to lose a lap. Which is a. Uh, a queen race, to say the least, for a workhorse race like this, but yeah, that's gonna do it 
for the Cinnabon 300k. Thank you for watching. Next week is going to be the Stanley Forge in Iowa, including the National Series race at the same track. So yeah, more uh, doubleheaders for next weekend. So be prepared for that, and that's going to do it for me. Um, thank you for watching, and congrats to Tatiana. God damn it. Congrats to Damon Cowood as your Colgate Cup winner at Papyrus. I'm done talking. I'm gonna stutter more, more if I don't. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.